Hi everybody, Steve here. I think this is vlog number nine. How about that? Time flies when you're having fun, as they say. I just finished up with uh, some of my portion of filming the 40th anniversary video. And I must say my mind is abuzz with memories and thoughts and all kinds of reflections. Uh, it's been uh, uh, quite a day, uh, a lot of time in front of the camera. Uh, a lot of fond memories, by the way, and uh, that's uh, just so good to go back and excavate that. Uh, we're going to be pretty brief here, but I want to talk about essentialism and being essential and some of the uh, attributes, some of the uh, key ingredients, uh, some of the reasons uh, for why essentialism is important. Uh, there's a great book we're going to recommend. You'll see a copy of it at the end here. and. Uh, encourage you to explore that. Uh, uh, it'll start out with what is the essence of essential, essentialism. These are some really tough words to say, by the way, so stick with me. And I don't think I have to uh, dive deep into any of these, uh, any of these elements of it. Uh, it is uh, something that in life, uh, in purpose, it is the focal point. It becomes the uh, end game. It becomes everything uh, about what you are doing, about what you can be, is focused around essentialism. And I'd like you to just kind of let yourself in that doorway for a second. Uh, the, the real essence of it is to explore, to understand. Uh, I'm fond of asking this question. Uh, it could come down to this. Uh, the client that you're currently working with has made a decision to use us. How would you make that decision the best decision they ever made? That would be a key essential question if you could ask that. And hopefully you get a good response, something that is, uh, allows you to focus more on essentialism. So exploring is one of the key ingredients. That helps you understand better and increases your selectivity and the paths that you can take on your quest to be essential. Uh, elimination, uh, eliminating noise in your life, eliminating things that are just not important in the quest for essentialism is a key ingredient. Uh, as they say, uh, if you pack your luggage with too much, you just end up with baggage. And that is kind of the key ingredient here as you go through the, the steps of essentialism is to make sure that you're also cleaning house. The things you learned before, the, um, the habits you had before may or may not um, serve you well today and eliminating those things that are extra baggage uh, on your journey are very very important you have to maintain leanness on this journey uh, and finally execution this is the ongoing laboratory of, uh, of essentialism how do you do it what gets better what routines and habits are you forming uh, we've talked a lot about that in past vlogs. Uh, we've talked about the power of habits and articles. We've done all that, but it's being really intentional about that. Uh, this technology we have today uh, is absolutely wonderful in helping us do that. And I don't know if, if some of you might have one of these things, an Apple Watch. On my Apple Watch, I've got these three rings that tell me how I'm doing every day. And through intention, I've decided that I'm going to close all three rings every day. Uh, today represents, I think, 277 days in a row that I've done that. Um, but it is through intention and understanding what it's going to do uh, for me, uh, for the environment I live in, uh, for the community day that I operate in, the organization, uh, that makes it the most impactful. So I'm encouraging you to explore, I'm encouraging you to understand, and I'm encouraging you to start conversations around that. Uh, being essential in what you do uh, just brings so much more uh, joy, productivity, and um, impact to everything that we do. In closing, I want to thank you. Today is Employee Appreciation Day, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything you do for the organization, for our clients, for our communities. Um, it truly is impactful. Uh, we're going to continue the celebration through this weekend uh, with uh, K Wings game, for those that can attend. Um, I will not be there, but cheering you on from a distance. Uh, also, Katrina's email that uh, gave us step-by-step -step, uh, 
celebration moments for the month of March and our 40th anniversary. I encourage you to read that and get those dates in your calendar. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to do a lot of celebration. Thanks again for everything you do.